Why does my ground branch have positive power to it? I don't know. There really should have been one ground to the dash, right. and then everything fed off the dash. They've got like 35 individual grounds running to this. Let me see. I got a fire. Disconnect the battery. Got it. In the realm of auto restoration shows, one of the most watched shows ever was Phantomworks. Car enthusiasts and aficionados love tuning in to see some ultra rare vintage cars and watch them get worked on. It was a show all about finding the best cars from some of the best eras and not just bringing them back to the condition they were in, but improving them far past what could have ever been imagined. So it not only inspired feelings of nostalgia, but it also gave viewers a sense of wonder and awe. And who doesn't like that? Well, even though it was a popular show on the Velocity Channel, it was cancelled in 2019 after eight seasons due to Dan Short, the owner of the shop, deciding to part ways with the network. According to Short, ever since the start of filming, employees started quitting left and right due to the stress of filming on top of already stressful work. To make things even worse, Dan wasn't even able to attend to his father during his final weeks of life. So now that the show is over, what is Dan Short up to these days? Is his shop still open? Has he decided to sit back and enjoy the life of a celebrity? How much does he charge for restorations? The answer may surprise you. Be sure to watch till the end as we'll give you a chance to win $1,000 cash. If you haven't already subscribed, do so as we come out with new videos all the time. Okay. Let me see it close. Okay. Stop. I think... If you had no extra distance here, you could move your bottom bracket about an inch and you'd be perfect. A little background on Dan Short. He is a former military man and an accomplished restoration expert. Born in 1962, Short had always displayed that he had a keen mind and amazing ability to work with his hands. So when he enlisted in the Navy, he worked demolitions, medicine, and weapons. Eventually, he worked his way to become a Green Beret and conducted plenty of missions all over the world. He retired honorably as a major in 2005 after serving for 24 years, earning plenty of awards. During his time in the Navy, he met his wife Melissa Martell Short, who is a retired U.S. Navy officer herself. They have been married for a number of years and had a son, Z-Man Short, who was born on October 1, 2003. Z-Man has recently joined the Virginia Military Institute, so maybe he is following in his father's footsteps. Unlike many public figures, they have not gone to crazy lengths to keep their marriage or family life private. Melissa regularly posts pictures and updates on her various social media accounts. Things are going incredibly well with it. One thing that really helped in their marriage and family life is the fact that they work as a team at their garage, Phantomworks, an incredible auto restoration business that was built in a burned out garage. It is the culmination of his passion for cars that started when he was only five years old and saw an incredible Camaro. During his teenage years, he spent tons of time on cars doing repairs on various vehicles and learning as much as he could about engines. Even while he was in the military, the majority of any of his leave time was spent working on vehicles. From there, it turned into a booming business. Even though the show was canceled, it doesn't mean Dan Short was canceled, quite the contrary. Phantomworks Garage is still a thriving business located in Norfolk, Virginia. As a matter of fact, it is one of the top restoration garages in all of the United States. One thing the shop prides itself on is the fact that their work is so unique. There are no other shops in the area that offer the services that they do and only a handful across the country. So customers can be sure that their project will be unlike anything else on the market. Obviously, Phantomworks has rebuilt some of the most amazing cars while they were on the air. They completed a 63 Chevy Corvette, a Ford Model A hot rod, a number of muscle cars like Challengers, GTOs, Barracudas, and many other things. Today, their garage continues to do the same things, holding to the same standards that they did when they were on television, adhering to every standard of excellence. Dan Shore talks about his passion on the company website. These aren't just cars made out of steel, cloth, and glass. They are the dreams of our youth. Now that we're older and life has changed profoundly, what we once thought simply desirable now represent that link to the best of our youth. Getting them back on the road might just be one of the most important things we will ever do. His dedication to his art actually extends far beyond the high-end cars, though. Along with modifications and restorations, they will do maintenance and repair to any vehicle that comes through the garage. No task is too big or too small. 
As a matter of fact, their passion goes so deep that they actually manufacture their own parts on site. That way, no matter how small of a repair you may need, it will get a personal touch. Nice. What the hell is that? Look at this. The entire gauge pot assembly was welded on. This is all bullshit welded. Looks like they was trying to change the angle. What you may not know is that Phantomworks has taken its love for reconstruction and restoration far past just automobiles. Short and his business have also gotten into restoring airplanes and Americana as well. Some of his current airplane projects include a RAV3 and a 37 Stearman. It only gets better if you have antique pieces from some of America's golden years and want it restored. Jukeboxes, Coca-Cola vending machines, phonograph radios, 1950s gas pumps, he does them all. It's quite the versatile set of skills for someone to have, especially when you've grown up only on cars. It's a testament to how knowledgeable and business savvy Dan Short really is. Here's a good question though. For someone who is looking to get their car repaired or restored, what would it cost? Are we talking regular garage prices for an oil change? Would someone need to be willing to lay down hundreds of thousands of dollars for a completely customized car? The real answer is, what he charges for his work varies quite a bit, depending on what the job is. For customers that are coming in for typical work such as minor repairs or tune-ups, you can expect to pay at or around a fair price. After all, you'd be going to the business that was featured on one of the most popular auto repair shows on television. I did not change my so, mind once. That is so not this true. Is, that is not entirely true. This is where it's at. Okay. I like it a lot better now that it's tucked in here. It's racy. Does it look so much like a race car? Well, it looks a lot more natural. For complete rebuilds and restorations, though, the price tag is going to get pretty high depending on what type of car it is, how much work a person is wanting done, and a few other things. Per the company website, a full estimate will be given to the customer based on the work he wants done. However, that bill can fluctuate based on what goes on during the build. There have been some reports, though, that some of the prices for the complex builds gets into the $100,000 range and higher. It may seem like a crazy amount to think about, but if you ask anyone who has ever had this type of work done at Phantomworks, they'll tell you that it was well worth the money. So how well do you think Dan Short is doing for himself? He has one of the busiest and most successful auto shops in the country. He was the star of one of the most successful auto restoration shows on television. He's able to charge incredible amounts of money for complex and artful restorations. Phantomworks even runs a malt shop which does quite well for itself as well. All of these things have given Short a little bit of a nest egg, but it actually isn't over the top like you may think for a celebrity. Today, Dan Short is worth somewhere in the ballpark of $3.5 million. When he was starring on his show, Velocity TV was paying him around $10,000 per episode for his earlier seasons and nearly $50,000 during the later seasons. This all adds up to quite a bit of money. During this time, though, all of it nearly came to a screeching halt when one of his clients brought a lawsuit against the garage. It was all over a $2,000 car part for a 1960 Ford Thunderbird that Short purchased for $6,000. The client felt cheated and not only took him to court, but spent a good deal of time dragging his name through the mud, saying he was a liar and that the Phantom Works garage was involved in some illegal operations. In the end, Short won the battle and the case was dismissed in court. Should something have held up though, it would not have only cost him dearly in money, but the reputation that he spent years building up could have been ruined. All of this is the product of a visionary military man who turned his passion for cars into a successful empire. Even though his show has been off the air for a couple of years, he is still recognized by many in the community as one of the best in the business. Who knows, maybe one day we'll see Dan Short on television again. Until that time though, it's worth stopping by his shop in Norfolk, Virginia for a tour. Can you pop the hood? Oh wow. Wow. This engine is the 327 with a carburetor that exceeds 327 horsepower, all original. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. As promised, to enter the $1,000 cash giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, Tuna No Crust. Hit the notification bell, leave a like, and comment down below, No Crust Nation, with your Cash App or Venmo. And that's it. We're also giving our viewers 10% off any Krusty Musty merch using code TUNA. We'll see you next time.